star tip is so versatile. Today we'll show you some of the main ways to use it for rosettes. On this cake, we've used it for printing. We're using a small uh, star tip. We've used it for flowers, uh, a border, and as a candle holder. So let me show you. I've got a small number 13 tip, and to make a rosette, you hold it just above the surface of the cake, begin to make a star, and then bring it around clockwise so that you have a tight ro what, a rosette. Now those are real small. You could use those like dotted Swiss around your cake. Uh, they look quite nice as a border. I've switched to a tip number 18, so you're having it just above the surface. You begin to squeeze like you have, you're making a star, and then you just go clockwise and finish it off. And you stop squeezing as you end. If you're still squeezing a little bit, you can, you know, clean that up with a toothpick. You'll see there I have a little bit of a dot right there, right there. Now, you can see it makes a very nice border. Uh, you can also use it for a candle holder because you'll put the candle just right dead center in the middle of it. And let me do that. And it holds it because it's nice and uh, moist. Now, let's see if you wanted to make a flower. You really didn't want to make roses. You didn't want to do your drop flowers. You just wanted to do it quickly on top of your cake. You make your rosettes. And then um, you put a little center in it. And this is a tip number three, just with some white icing. And that's the center of your flower. And you can see it begins to take a little more shape. You want to make it look a little bit more like a flower. This is a tip 352. It's a leaf tip. And it's got uh, points. And you put one of the points down and you just squeeze and pull it out. And you can see it begins to look a lot like a flower. So if you're in a hurry, you need a quick flower. That's one of the perfect things to do. Now you can also, using one of the larger star tips, uh, it's called a 1M. And a lot of times that's what people will decorate their cupcakes with. So you just hold your cupcake, you'll start on the outside, and you're using a little bit more of a technique where you're bringing it toward the center so that you have a very tall, high rosette. And then here's some cupcakes where we have different types of rosettes, some a little taller, some a little flatter. But you can see they make a really cute design. And then on this other cake, we have uh, rosettes and two different star tips for the border. And that's how you make rosettes. The star tip is so versatile. Today we'll show you some of the